Okay, so the first stuff we're basically to look at in a comedy is this one here, which is in a nice uh, uh, paper sleeve, of course, none other than Austin Powers, Go, Fing Go member. Uh, I actually got this recently, uh, probably a while back. I don't have the actual case with it, because uh, the actual case itself actually got missing and, or, of course, it got damaged. But the distance step is actually. Uh, stuff is still playable and actually everything else. And I haven't seen all the, uh, uh, well, I have seen all three of the Monster Powers movies. And I have to say, uh, the uh, third one is pretty well kind of good originally, but for some reason it's it's not really type of um, interest between the uh, interest with Mis Mystery Man and also the spy who shagged me, if that's what you call it. But, you know, it has some moments of it. But nice for the second movie. Okay, and then next up we have, of course, none other than people all should basically know, Knocked Up, starring, uh, what was his name? Steph from Farland, yes, I think that was his name. And, uh, very well, good, classic, uh, uh, really kind of cheesy, comic, comic flick. Uh, like I say before, a lot of people find this movie well entertained, and I love this movie because, you know, Steph from Farland is pretty well funny, which is a uh, Jewish uh, uh, comedian, and he's pretty well funny. And, uh, you know, he's, he, he's great rich in certain movies. I, I don't have, of course, uh, Pineapple Express uh, anymore because I actually sold it a while back. And I actually tried to make enough money rich to try to get it. I will probably come over choir for it sometime, Beam. Now, the next up is that anybody should probably should have, of course, Office Space. Yes, this is the very first time I actually got the chance to watch Office Space. Uh, what are my thoughts about it? Well, I'm going to set that for the review, just a mini review, just to give you a chance that I, I basically own it. I basically kept it for many years, and I haven't really tried to take a chance of it um, uh, to take a uh, watch it, which is the first, 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 very first time. So this is to be the first time you're ever going to see me uh, talk about it originally, basically. So I will probably talk about it, and maybe hope it sometime being review it sometime, but not anytime soon. Then next up, we have another classic movie that everybody should basically know. If you already see my exclusive review of this movie, it's not actually exclusive, it's just based on a random review, I just talk about this recently. And I have to say, this movie is quite good, it's none other than, it's a mad, mad, mad world. Yes, this is the Blu-ray release, they actually released this, I think, in 2012, if I may be mistaken. This is actually the... 2012 Blu-ray release, and I have to say, this is probably the greatest classic movie I've watched, and like I said, this is the time when I knew that Blu-rays are going to get a little bit more cheaper. This was cheaper, about, I think, about 10 bucks for Walmart a while back, and I'm very happy originally to own it, and I kept it many, many, many times, so I was very happy I didn't have to sell it originally. Next up, there's another good with the comedy flick, Super Bad. The, this is actually the two disc uh, standard. This is the two disc on rated standard edition, with basically a nice, richly uh, interest of extras and everything else. And if you want to basically check what's inside of it. There's the, of course, the disc arc and everything else. You get the two disc set. And on side the back, you got the nice uh, uh, character. Uh, two of the base, the main characters in the, on the mo in the movie. And uh, yeah. Well, with, with being movie, I really enjoy it. Uh, did basically did a kind of review, a basic media review, or the update of this, which is sometime being. Then, of course, next up we have, and then basically everybody should basically know about this one, Road Trip. This is the, of course the unrated and basically R version. Of this. I actually picked this up originally at uh, Best Buy a while back, and that was very well eager to see this based on Blu-ray. And the quality is not perfect, but hey, it, at least it's. I got this version for basically. I've been trying to basically get this on 
DVD originally back a while back, but I actually saw it a while uh, when I was doing the purge of basically uh, selling some of my stuff or shit on towards uh, some mini shops which I was looking at. And I actually saw this one shit for about, uh, I think it was like 10 bucks or shit for, I think, for this set version, I think. I think it was 10 bucks or shit, something around time or shit, I don't know. But, well, well, classic, good uh, comedy cheese fest. And, you know, it's a, it has some college humor towards it, which one I enjoy. Then next up we have, of course, Clueless. Yes, I finally got myself into getting the Clueless Blu-ray set because, well, on the DVD set, it doesn't require any features. But on the Blu-ray set, this here right here, it does require features. Now, I don't have the slip cover for it. It did come with a nice pink, shiny slip cover, slip cover version about it. And I will probably do a review about this movie sometime, Dean. And I'm very happy to own it. And the reason why I don't have the slip cover because I was thought maybe if they did have it, Richard, or it didn't. But, you know, whatever, Richard. It's, it's, it's close. It's, it's, it's one of the great classic 90s movies that I enjoy. And this was probably the first time I ever watched a PG-13, this was a PG-13 movie, yes, a PG-13 movie, and I enjoyed that version very much. Then, of course, we have another Mel Crete uh, set, this time a four-movie pack, where you've got, of course, Saber Silverman, uh, The Black Book, The Exodus, and The Life Without Dick. Now, this is actually the four-comedy uh, collection that you could purchase uh, through... Uh, uh, to Mel Creek, and if you wonder what their Mel Creek sets are originally in these four movie pack, well, check this out. Ta da! It's a two disc set with four movies spread right across basically just basically uh, two layer discs. So, not too bad, originally. I spent this about five bucks which at Walmart, and this is not too bad. Oh, then next up, we have another good classic movie. Except for Christopher Farland, starring in Be Beverly Hills Ninja. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I was surprised this was something I was really looking forward to. I was going to put this basically in the, of course, martial arts uh, section, but this is a place towards a comedy. So, it, it plays for laughs and everything. And, of course, Christopher Farland is a really one, wonderful comedian through, of course, uh, Tommy Boy, uh, Black Sheep, and a few other, basically, uh, performs that he's been originally in some uh, movies that he didn't. And it's pretty well said originally that he will be missed. And I love this movie so much, and I'm glad I, I kept this research for many years. And of course, I haven't seen this movie in quite some time. I was going to basically watch it, but never got around to it, of course. We have Be Kind We Wine. Yes, this is the, of course, Jack Beck and Martin, 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 I can't pronounce this You know, the, uh, the rapper originally uh, basically did a um, uh, movie, uh, I think, The 16 Blocks with uh, Bruce uh, Williams. And I think he did other basic, uh, films he based it back in the day, but uh, I haven't seen it originally. So this is the time. This is the time originally I need to try to watch it originally sometime. Being so, definitely we'll get a chance to watch it. And then I actually kept this one. Of course, a lot of people don't find this movie pretty interesting. It's called Nickelodeon Into the Playlist. Now I'm not really a big into towards the romantic comedy, but this one is kind of okay originally. It's kind of uh, not truly romantic or anything. It's just because it's, it's just kind of like a nice mushy, gushy uh, uh, feel to it, basically of it. So it's not too bad rich at all, really. So yeah, I mean, it, it got some interesting moments towards it, but yeah, what can you, what can you do, Richard? Then we because we have some of the uh, Ice Cube uh, uh, movies that he's basically I personally enjoy, Richard. Of course, we because they have. Friday, which I did a review about that originally. If you want to check that out, they'll definitely post the link in the description down below for you, and you can check that out. Then, of course, we have two Barbershop movies. We have Barbershop 1, which is a great, some of the, uh, kind of meaning, basically, comedy flick, which are all good, basically, uh, uh, famous stars that you probably know of, and everything else. And then, of course, we have Barbershop 2. Now, this was the land towards my mother who loves this movie, Richard. She loves the second film, Richard, as much as the first. But uh, I thought the first and second were quite simultaneously because, you know, they both have some elements basically between uh, the uh, the characters, Richard, that they actually develop. And I really enjoyed the these two, Richard, especially. Especially when, uh, I think, when uh, Ice Cube did, Richard, uh, Friday, I was very surprised with Richard watching the first movie. Uh, Friday, uh, next Friday, and the Friday at the next, not so much, it's just, uh, you know, originally kind of 
had no second thoughts about it. Then, of course, I kept this movie. Borat, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Baffa, well, I can't pronounce that, I can't pronounce that, but, you know, the guy who originally did, uh, Bruno and everything around, so they, uh, all those really stand-up comedy, uh, sitcoms, which that he basically did, uh, this is actually a really well classic, which is, uh, Stephen, uh, Bond, I love him, and, uh, movie, and I actually enjoy Richard very much, and if, of course, that this is actually, it's a book like this, which it was not, it's actually the actual movie itself. It's just basically just kind of like mocking the hits show you shit that it is actually the actual disc. So, that's that. And of course we have, still, I still basically kept my three uh, America Pie movies, of course, which is basically, obviously, I did a Swiss movie review of that, and a lot of people find the American Pie movies very well driven, very well uh, uh, f uh, funny entertainment. And of course, you know, for a lot of reasons it just... All the time, uh, really, on um, am performance, and really kind of teach, well, not really actually teach, but actually really give, you know, get some of, of comedy and humor to it. So, of course, we have America Pie 1, America Pie 2, and America Pie 3, or this, uh, America Wedding. I haven't seen an American reunion, and I will come across with that versus sometime being, but not anytime soon. Then, of course, we have, uh, two, um, what was his name? Stephen Farland, I think was his name. Uh, no, Ben Stiller. I don't know why I said Ben Stiller. Uh, we got two move, two Ben Stiller's movies. We have Zoolander, which I bought it recently a couple of uh, months back, to Walmart. And of course we have, yeah, this is uh, Zoolander, and this is Mystery Man, which is I really highly recommend the original watching this one, especially with uh, uh, Zoolander. It's it's more, I think you know Ben Stiller is pretty well good to a good comedy when he did. Well, I guess he direct. Well, originally he actually did. He did direct and act versus the base of these characters, and he actually does, you know, of course, produce uh, these movies versus some things. But I really enjoy these two versions especially. But I think Mystery Man has some part of the performance because not only because you got Ben Stiller version, the base of a group of other basic cast members you know of, you also got uh, Kel, uh, yeah, Kel Kimball. I think Kim. Is it, is it Kel Thompson? No. You know, from Keen to Kale, you know, from Mace to Goodberg and everything else, Richard. But he's in there. Uh, Kale originally bases a very well comedian, Richard, performance. He plays, a, of course, the young uh, uh, superhero type of feel, feel to it. it. It feels like, you know, Bill Sr. Um, directs his own movies kind of for big for, for comedy. Um, I have seen some of his, uh, some of his other basic um, film work, Richard, back in the day. And I'm really kind of surprised, Richard, that was pretty much the kind of the icing of the cake version for it. So yeah, this is my tire basically of of course my comic convenience uh, movies that are pretty much are interested in for anybody. But you're probably wondering, are you gonna get more original comedy movies? Well, I am probably, but like I say, it just it, it doesn't usually I don't usually try to basically pick up any kind of like comedy uh, flicks versus that much often. So this is basically the, the half of basically my comedy section because, like I say, if you look at my western uh, section, off the base of basically I did my horror, uh, monster, uh, my uh, giant monster, story, 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 I can't speak, <laughs> monsters, giant monsters, horror, and of course sci-fi, uh, western uh, section. It's like my western section is a little bit, you know, small version a bit. So to be fair, it's not too bad. Version. So that is it for my comic section of this of, of this DVD Blu-ray overview. Next up, we're gonna take it down and take a look up of my superheroes and action uh, flicks. So till then, this is Air Brown. Thank you for watching, and sayonara.